guys welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing well so today i'm going to do a 30 questions beauty tag question video and the whole purpose is just to kind of like tell you guys who i am because i did one of these like a while ago but that was when i first started my channel and now that i am like growing i just want people to know like who i am and I just want this connection to be better because I just feel like it's kind of like one-sided. I feel like I post videos and you guys watch them, but that's just like it. And I kind of just want you guys to know like who I am as a person and what I believe in and what my channel is really about and just to get like to the nitty and gritty of YouTube and me and you and us. Okay, yeah, so if you want to continue to watch this video, please keep watching. That's awkward. That was awkward. Anyways. So the tag is like on this blog, so I'm just going to read it from here, and it's kind of not easy to like, it has like all her answers too and not just the questions, so I'm just going to read the question and then hopefully not get distracted. Okay, so the first question is, do you remember your first makeup item? Yes, I think I do. I remember getting into makeup probably around like 2012. I really haven't been doing it that long. and. I think the first thing I ever saw was Carly Bible's video on how to contour and I was just like oh my gosh like she just looked gorgeous I still remember what she was wearing like she had her hair back in a ponytail and just her face was chiseled and she was just flawless and I'm just like wow she really looks beautiful she really embodies like what I want to be as a young woman just like confident beautiful kind and so she kind of kind of warped me up into this whole community and just from her, that's when I um, kind of branched out to Nicole Guerrero and then just Jaclyn Hill and all the other ones. But the first one I will always remember is Carly Bible. And then from there, like the makeup addiction grew and I remember the first online purchase I bought from Sephora was the Naked 2 palette. Back then I didn't know anything about like cool tones or warm tones and I didn't know that I was like a warm tone freak. So I bought that palette not really knowing what to do with it. And I also bought the Laura Mercier um, Camouflage Concealer. It's in that little compact and it has the two different color concealers. Carly used to use it a lot back then and so I thought if she loved it, I would love it and I don't like it. But that was the first item that I bought, even though I had no idea what I was doing. I don't even think I had brushes at that time. I just know I needed that palette because it made her look beautiful. So I thought it would make me look beautiful. That's, I think that was as complex as my thinking was back then. I was just like, she looks beautiful with it. I need it too. Yeah, even though I had no idea what I was doing with it. Okay, the next one. Describe your perfect mascara and have you found one that fits your spe specific specifications specifications um i have really straight like stick down lashes like my lash natural lashes have no curl whatsoever so my perfect mascara is one that holds my curl and stays all day because i don't like my mascara like rubbing off on my skin or anything like that and no I honestly haven't found a perfect one yet I just use tons of like little samples of mascara but nothing like wows me that I need the full-size version I think the last full-size mascara I bought was Dior iconic over curl mascara and that one's pretty good but it's not like life-changing I haven't found a life-changing holy grail mascara so if you know yours please leave it below because I just buy whatever and then put on falsies real life okay number three what kind of coverage do you prefer from foundation um I don't like my real skin <laughs> showing that's pretty much it I like medium full coverage foundation I don't really wear light foundation because it serves no purpose on me really besides just evening out my skin tone but you can still tell that I have acne if I wear it so it kind of serves no purpose next question favorite high-end brand um, my favorite high-end brand is probably Dior or Chanel I don't think Mac is a high-end brand because I feel like there's stuff inside Sephora like a Urban Decay lipstick is more expensive than a MAC lipstick. So probably Chanel or Dior. Probably Dior because I think they have gorgeous products and I think all their perfumes smell so good but they are crazy expensive. Next question, what cosmetic brands have you always wanted to try but still haven't? Um, I think the only thing that pops into my head in this one is the Guerlain, Guerlain 
brand and they're the brand that has the really fancy packaging I'll put a picture so you guys know what I'm talking about because I don't even really know how to pronounce it so I hope I'm saying it right but it has like the beauty powders and you stick your brush in and people use it as like a finishing powder and all the packaging is just so lovely but it's also super expensive and I just can't do it next question favorite drugstore brand Probably Milani because I think they have great bronzers and I think they have good liners and decent lipsticks too. Um, is that my favorite drugstore brand? Yeah, probably Milani. Yeah, and their blushes. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot their blushes. Milani. Next question, do you wear fake eyelashes? Yeah. Next question, is there any kind of makeup you can't leave the house without? Um, no, because I actually leave the house most of the week without makeup when I go to work. Next question, I'm going to stop saying that because it's already annoying. What is your most cherished beauty product? Right now, it's the Jaclyn Hill and Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop, and that's just because it, <laughs> it is so, um, it's like such a fragile little product that I don't want it to break and it is limited edition. So I already have one that I dropped and it kind of shattered on the outside so I have another one coming in the mail. So right now that is my most cherished beauty product. How often do you shop for makeup? Do you like to pick up an item here and there or get lots of goodies at once? So I shop for makeup probably... <sighs> I don't know because there's so many things like I have a constant wish list of items that I want but I am really I hate spending money it, it's so weird because I feel like all I do on this channel is do hauls but you can ask like CJ like I'm so bad at spending money I'll have a cart filled in Sephora for a week going on two weeks that I add and subtract products because I just don't want to take like my bank account below a certain number so I just don't them as much as I would like to but I have been getting better and making like little purchases here and there because I'm like Taylor just buy that MAC lipstick I mean you spend that much if you go out to dinner and have an appetizer and a drink just buy the lipstick and you'll barely notice that it's gone so I'm getting better so I shop for makeup probably like once every two or three weeks yeah and I try not to buy, like, I try not to go shopping for makeup when it's not on my list because I know I'd rather spend that money on something I've really been, like, dreaming after than just, like, something that looks interesting. Like, I'd rather, you know, that makes sense. I'll just keep it like that. Next question. Do you have a beauty budget or do you spend freely? I spend freely. What happens is I get paid on the 1st and 15th. And with USA, which is my bank, we get paid, like, a day before the actual pay date. So once all my bills are paid, I spend freely. But like I said, I still have a minimum account, like minimum number that I want to keep in my bank account. So as long as all my bills are paid and like we just bought a buttload of groceries and we don't need anything else, then I totally spend freely. But like I said, I do, I do like having a lot of money in my account so I don't just blow it out of the water every time. Yeah, hopefully that made sense. Oh shoot, I just refreshed the page. Go over. Next question. Do you utilize ugh, do you utilize coupons, reward cards, and sales when you shop for cosmetics? I utilize the sales and I utilize the codes and I use ebates. So just I think it was yesterday I bought a whole bunch of Kat Von D goodies and I got an email from Sephora saying they were having this sample bag. So I was like perfect and then ebates was four percent cash back. So I went through Ebates and I went to Sephora and then I bought it and then I used that bag and then I got free shipping. So that's the only thing I do when it comes to like printout coupons. I don't use it, but like semi-annual sales at Sephora or Mac sales, when that rarely happens, I do use those. Okay, what type of product do you buy the most of? I would say right now it's probably highlighters and lipsticks. Um, yeah, that's it. I've been trying to get like my lip pencil collection up, but I think I'm pretty good with that, but I can never say no to lipstick. So lipstick and highlighters, they're kind of my addiction. Okay, is there a brand that you absolutely can't stand? Um, no, no brands ever like really offended me. I, I like them all. I really don't use that much like CoverGirl, but... I can stand them. 
Next question, do you avoid certain ingredients in cosmetics like parabates or sulfates? Parabens or sulfates? No, I don't even look at ingredients. And I know that's horrible, but honestly, I just don't. Next question, do you have a favorite place to shop for makeup? I do, I shop at, I don't, actually, I don't think it's favorite. I usually shop at Sephora.com, MAC Cosmetics, or Nordstrom's. I try not to shop from Macy's because they make me pay for shipping <laughs> every time and I can just get the same thing at Nordstrom's. So those places. Do you like trying new skincare products or do you keep a certain routine? Um, basically I keep a certain routine right now because I have really acne prone skin and I kind of get nervous to try new things just because I don't want to break out. So right now I'm using this super Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Skin Cleanser, Clearing Cleanser. Yeah, so I'm using that and I'm keeping my routine really simple and my skin has really cleared up a lot. So I'm sticking with that. I'm not really trying anything new right now. Favorite bath and body brand? Probably bath and body brand. Lush? Lush. I love Lush. I could... I get shop there like every day just because I like the whole, I like the mood of the store, I like how you can grab things, I like every ha how everything is fresh and smells so good. So lush. Next, if you could only buy from one brand, which brand would you choose? MAC or Urban Decay? But I don't think Urban Decay has bronzers, so MAC. <laughs> yeah, MAC. What brand do you think has the best packaging? I think Benefit Cosmetics packaging on like everything is really cute. Um, I would say Urban Decay too because they have nice packaging also. Next, which celebrity always has great makeup? Um, I would say all the Kardashians are always beat flawlessly. But I think that's expected. Um, sorry, my lip itches. Um, yeah, I think them. Oh, Christina Milian is always beat by, like, really nice makeup artists in Hollywood, so I would say her too, because she's always flawless. Next, do you belong to any online makeup communities? I do, but it's not, like, a website or anything. It's just, like, a Facebook page here where I live, like, all these, um, it's called, like, Okinawa makeup junkies and then we all just like talk on there which is cool because we're all like local on the same island so that's the only thing I belong to next favorite beauty gurus um right now I of course everyone loves Jaclyn Hill but Miss Rosh Posh I don't know if so many people know her but she is stunning she is a uh, I don't know She's just stunning. Like, her eyes are, like, the most ideal cat shape. And even though she's, like, not my skin, same skin tone, like, I'm a white girl and she's black, like, I love watching her. Like, I don't even care if her, um, like, the products she uses for her skin obviously don't work on mine. Like, I can't, like, buy that exact product. But her technique and just the way she bakes, the way she highlights her eyes, it's all so flattering to me. Like, she's my girl crush right now. Oh, and Desi Perkins. Desi. Okay, next. Do you like multifunctional products like lip and cheek stains? Nope, I don't own a single one. Next, are you clumsy in putting on makeup? No. Do you see that liner? <laughs> That's probably gonna seem like really stuck up, but no. Don't be clumsy when you put on your makeup. Be clumsy when you walk. Don't be clumsy when you put on your makeup. Okay, do you use a makeup base or primer for the eyes? I don't. I apply a foundation all over my face and that includes my eyelid and stuff and then I just set that with powder. I don't really go in with MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot because I feel like I don't need it. Next. How many hair products do you use on a typical day? On a typical day, I am at work and none. I just pull my hair back when it's wet and go. Um, what do you apply first, concealer or foundation? I apply foundation and then I apply concealer. If I had really bad dark circles or discoloration, I would probably do both. 
but I don't suffer from dark circles underneath my eyes, so foundation and concealer works for me. Do you ever consider taking makeup classes? And I have taken makeup classes. I was registered to dress your face online makeup classes and she kind of like blew my mind. So I did do probably like three months of her classes and they were so informative, but then I stopped doing it because they just kept charging my account and I'm just not down for that. Okay, last question, what do you love about makeup? What do I love about makeup? I love everything about makeup. For me, since I am active duty military, there's a lot of restrictions when it comes to me expressing myself as a young woman and it, that's really been a big struggle for me. I think that's why I turned so quickly into YouTube and this camera and just makeup and beauty in general is just because I needed an outlet. I needed something so bad to just get me to feel like myself and like a normal young adult because in the military, like if I wanted to paint my nails purple, I can't unless I'm on leave. Um, I can't wear like wing liner or makeup or anything like this because it's just not considered natural. And they kind of just like put me in a box when it comes to creativity. And so doing my makeup just allows me to express myself. So while I'm expressing myself, it also gives me, you know, like flawless face and like contoured face and jawline and everything like that and shimmery skin but I just I love it I think I think it's really helped like me find myself kind of just when I put on makeup it's just time for myself it's time to feel beautiful and it, I know it's it's really art like when you practice certain things like when you get your eyeliner down perfectly it's just it's just this confidence that you have that no one can touch you you know you're just you're just like whole. That's just how I feel personally. Like makeup's done. I just, I don't know. I'm just passionate about it, I guess. But yeah. Okay, you guys. So that is my 30 questions. I hope you got to know me a little bit. And I hope I didn't like freak you out or come off the wrong way because I didn't want to do that. So if I'm sarcastic, that's just me. I'm just sarcastic. I never mean to come off as rude or like stuck up or anything like that. So yeah, that completes this tag. Let me know like what you think down below or what's your responses to some of these products like about foundation or concealer or like your skincare, things like that. I would love to know. We are all just learning here on my channel. Like I don't want to come off as like this expert when obviously I have no qualifications or things like that. Like you guys can teach me things and it can just go back and forth. That's all I want really. So yeah, let me know if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!